I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. Whoa, god damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. I should go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around, ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. There is a bar. It's inhabited by very large bags. I'd freeze to death if I opened the window. It's cold enough on this train. Better br bring a coat, eh? But you can open the window and have a smoke, maybe. We're moving fast. The snowy countryside is beautiful. I don't recognize where we are. Hmm, maybe that's an indication that this is the train to hell. A cute doggy! He looks like my model dog. Wait, where did I leave that? Ah, oh, crap. The conductor took it. I don't want to just go knocking on any old door. Okay, who's singing? When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. But no, he just has white hair. Now I look at him properly, he seems kind of familiar. It's familiar how? A steam train. It looks exactly like the one I'm on. Maybe it is. There's a plaque at the bottom. It says, Old Gloria's Inaugural Trip, December 1988. I have no desire. No desire. Ticket. My train tickets. Okay. Purse. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Yeah. So, uh, she's ready for anything. Hey! Evening, lassie. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl just had a service. It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... she's... kind of ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then? She's got the same heart, though. Anyway, you youngins don't want to be listening to all going on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh, no. <laughs> not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tack. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh, yeah? Like what? Oh, just the usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun thing. So, anything I can help you with, miss? I, I'd like to be a mudlarker. I like to find old things. About the journey, destination, to hell, museum doctor. You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo-yo. He won't sit still. Surprised he's not out roaming the corridors right now, actually. Still, he did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. So this is after we gave him the whiskey and he fell asleep mid-sentence. So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little nibblewomset. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. You ever been yourself? Augur Peak? Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, 
So, you'll be crossing with us? Hi. Got some time off. You got family there? Hi, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. Especially when you turn into a big bag. So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Hi. Off to Ogre to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any historical secrets like that. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. His name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes, aye? <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. It's not just us, either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. Aye, they all do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh, yeah, I get you. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly, especially now I know he's Kat's boss. He's in 1B, but hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Asked me to wake him in an hour, so I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay, cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd, the barman. Runs the bar? It's open, if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some... what? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. More, more like whole body and bag. Don said I shouldn't disturb him yet, so I won't. Okay, so let's get a little drinky-poo. Nothing strange happening yet. Everybody seems normal for now. Door is unlocked. Don't you think this really looks like you, girl? She looks... Yeah. Weirdly like me. Uncannily so. That's so cool. I should ask Dawn about her sometime. The canvas looks lumpy, like there's something behind it. Ah, secrets. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. Do I have something in my inventory? Can we burn it? Nah. 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 I have no reason to be- Let's uh, ask Dawn about it right now. Why does she look so much like us? Catch you later, Don. Aye. But I really wanted to ask about the painting. painting. Fine. I'll go get a drink. Hello? Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Oh. Sounds like he's out back. I'll wait then. I'm just gonna help myself to this uh, Bloody Mary. Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary lying around. I shouldn't. Should I? You should. Well, it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Bloody Marys aren't my favorite cocktail, to be honest. It's, um, a bit too savory for me. Just what I like to see. A well-stocked bar. Shame nobody's around to tend it. Hmm. I can't reach over the bar. You could go closer to the bar. Hmm. I can't... Well, it seems like Floydy Boy is not gonna join us. Food. I'm not hungry. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the 
diners. Well, they're all ghosts. They're probably eating and you're just staring at them. A window looking out into the night. The train's moving fast. Howard wasn't getting this view. They were all like shut. You couldn't see the outside. Interesting. Ah, we get to see Voldemort again. Okay. He's turned into a pretty little girl. Uh, hi. Hey. Sup, Voldemort. I think you've finally reached your fantasy of becoming a little ballerina. Good for you, man. Good for you. A small girl dressed in a ballet outfit. She looks very sad. What's what's the matter, Lydia? Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? I'm eight, actually. Oh, well, we're almost the same age, then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? I... No, actually. He... He'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah, don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? Um, let's talk about the fact that you have a large bag in your compartment, and it's already starting. The bag transformations. Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups. Weird. I know, right? So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well... A little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh, man. That takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it, too. Didn't work, though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In the end, I got thrown out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. I like your necklace. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend, but there's nothing gross about it. But boys are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind, though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. I will. I really hope you won't turn in a, in 
a medium-sized bag. A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. Can I take it? I have no need to carry a lantern around. Okay. A music box. It's playing a beautiful, melancholy waltz. I shouldn't mess with it. I might upset her. I like the fact that my parents never pushed me to, like, well, never really pushed me to do really girly stuff. I was out playing all day sports and running around and doing stupid shit, and I didn't have time for ballerina crap. No offense to ballerinas out there, but it, ju it just wasn't for me. Maybe I should go see Dawn, ask if Lang's awake yet. Thanks for the hint, Alex. Can I open this? I can o definitely get past this painting. I could just rip it up. No one would know. Well, some people might notice. But they wouldn't know it was me. I'll just blame Floyd. Hey! Evening, miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but it was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway. It's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. How strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, aye. Her. Huh. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me! Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> Who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye, you're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, can we, like, not talk about my father right now? He, he kind of passed away very recently. Oh, I. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mum? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry, this conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. Uh... Ah, balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. I've settled down, we're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. It's okay, I got a lighter. Here, use this lighter. Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that sounds astonishingly unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behaviour. It's not every day we have guests. This is a passenger train. Is it? What? What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. I'd better not tamper with the machinery. 
So he just vanished in a wisp of smoke. He must be a magician. No response. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. Oh, she's not gonna be okay. She's gonna be a medium-sized bag. They sound... yeah. No. A compartment door. I can hear strange grunting. I'll, uh... I'll just, um... mosey on down past that room. Yeah. Awkward. Huh. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? Shit. I need to get the door open somehow. But how? Nothing's burning just now. Hmm. Things might be burning soon. I have no way to open the door. A compartment door. I can hear fa- Okay. Floyd? Oh, a person! Uh, Rob? Alex! Hello! Rob? You came! They said you would. You promised you'd call. You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Rob, it's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Oh, Alex, come on. I've always been there for you, haven't I? Oh, God. When Gavin left you, when your dad died, when you were getting those threatening phone calls. Oh, God. I forgot about that. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now when you need me again? You're... You're right. Okay, fuck it. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this, but whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? The earth crawls, Alex. The sepulchre thunders towards its destination, like worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap! Feast upon the eyes of God. Darkness. Silence. Then a sudden scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there, when you're done with the girl. Lydia? I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Go to belly. Find the key. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. I ain't gonna be a part of this trippy nightmare shit. A bloody knife. A steak knife. It looks recently used. Oh, there's blood on it. Oh dear. I'm afraid Lyd Lydia got the pointy end of this. I might need this. Or she might. Soon enough. Or maybe we're just gonna eat some delicious steak. How about that? You know, I should have looked into this um, earlier. I, uh, I looked up what sepulchre actually means because I really didn't know what it meant. And apparently it's a small room or a monument cut into a rock or made out of stone in which dead people are buried or laid. So, um, yeah. Getting a really weird vibe. Well, I've been getting a weird vibe since I started the game, but things are uh, heating up. Huh. It's locked. Maybe I can use a steak knife. Nah. Nah. Well, the music is nice and cheerful. I wonder if that doctor dude is awake. It's locked. Nope. Anything going on in my room? Not really. It's pretty peaceful. I shouldn't just. So who can I murder? Nah. Nah. Oh, the painting! I can slice it open now. Hmm. There's something here. Weird. There's a key here. Says it's the key to 2A.
Okay. It's a party. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. It's Where my birthday. Uh, uh, Sophia? Fuck. Jesus. Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh, God. What? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down with things earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great. Carly, too. Fuck this. Gavin is not here. You're not here. None of this is here. None of this is real. I'm on a fucking train, for God's sake. Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? I say it, don't worry about it. Alex is just being her weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us. She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes, I'm stressed. I need to get to the bottom of this. Man, this looks like a fun place. Let's just stay here. My trusty portable radio. Only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. Can I pick it up? Isaiah likes being in charge of the music. I'll leave it to him. Sophia, Carly, and Isaiah. A crowd of people. I can make out some of my friends. I don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. My friends. I don't know why they're on this train. Oh, my head hurts. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I, I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. 27 Club 80, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Got in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah, you got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just cause you've gone through some shit, just cause you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Louis fucking Cassell. And your shit-heel douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Well, come on then, Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, 
Listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure. Whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. What is that? Mean Girls? Inhaler? Sophia's inhaler. She asked me to look after it. But you need it, Sophia. Oh, she's gonna die. What is going on, Carly? I don't. I don't want to talk to him while Carly's there. Okay. Hey, Sophia. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell is going on? Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Uh-oh. Huh? The music stopped. I think they all turned into bags. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Party's what over. Fuck? Where'd everybody go? They all left their bags here, huh? You know, I imagine that it's something that got put in our drinks because shit started going down when we had that shot of whiskey and when we had that Bloody Mary. We started imagining things. A huge bag. Someone's luggage. Someone is the luggage. I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. I won't... I want a huge... A green balloon. It's just there. Only balloon in the room. Why does this seem so familiar? Sure. Why not? We could always use a balloon. Yoink. I have a balloon. Maybe uh, Lydia wants it. A lantern. A fairly typical one, as far as lanterns go. So lanterns appear whenever people have died or whatever? I have no... It's a party hat. I remember Gavin made me wear one at the party. I was wearing it when... Uh... When you broke up? That's, uh... <laughs> that's kind of awkward. Fuck it. Why not? Fuck it. I'm gonna have a party all, all by myself. With the full party gear. A window looking out into the night. I'd freeze to death. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Okay. Oh, someone answered that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Hey, you're Sorry. back. Sorry. Did you stop doing your magic tricks? Oh, someone answered that. Sorry. Fine. Fine, I'll answer it. I think the ringing's coming from in here. Where is it? Ah, uh, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. It's the one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh god, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those kitties or maybe your sweet... I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment. To party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy. This fucking guy. Oh shit. Oh, that oh, made me jump. <sighs> I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? 
Yeah, dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely it wouldn't do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought, and he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not lying. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait, the guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Jesus. Okay, Alex, don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. I wonder if I still have my steak knife. What's this? Broken cell phone. My old cell phone. I broke it once, and now I've broken it again. Good riddance. It's broken. I'll leave it where it is. Okay. Do I still have it? Yes. I still have my steak knife. Safe knife. I'm just gonna save real quick. We're gonna confront our stalker. 